it's not which God you follow. It's how you follow the God that you have. I came up with that one. You know, there are many people throughout this earth who have figured out how to work together. People from all different backgrounds, nations, religions. They are working together. There are many religious initiatives where different groups come together for common causes or simply just to get to know one another. It's being done. It's not that it can't be done because it obviously is being done. The only question, and, and here I want to use the word evidence. So there's evidence that this peacefulness between religions, between different peoples can take place because it is already happening. So the only question is, which piece of evidence do you want to be? Do you want to be a piece of evidence for the side of peace and uh, loving one another? Or do you want to be a piece of evidence for violence and for uh, drama and for um, just all the breakdowns in human interaction that take place? So that's the only choice. Because the people who are creating peace, you're never going to change their minds. Okay, the only minds that are actually going to be changed are the people who are soaked in violence and other lesser, um, maybe not the extreme of violence, but people who just are rude or whatever. I don't know what, what we, I mean, we've all got places where we can improve, right? But the people who are, who are creating peace with each other are never going to change their minds and they're never going to be different people. They're never going to wake up one morning and say, gee, hmm, maybe violence is the answer. So that decision is made and it's just being carried out. The people whose minds are going to change are those who are in violence. They're going to come to realize, and if I mean you or if I mean other people, they're going to come to realize, they're going to wake up in more, one morning and say, violence isn't the answer. It only gets you to blindness. It only gets you to blood. And, uh, and then they're going to search for the people who are making peace. And you will find them because they are, it is happening. The only thing is it's not over the whole earth and every corner yet, so the work isn't done. But it's not missing either. And when it comes to gods and religions, all, as far as I know, all religions provide for being loving to humanity, at least decent, for being loving to your families, for making a difference in the society around you. And yes, there may be important things that are supposed to happen after this life, I don't know. But every religion that I know of also has a purpose to fulfill in this lifetime. And the call is for that. And we don't have time. I don't have time to worry about which God you're following. I just have time to worry about how I'm following the God that I have. And so I would invite you to maybe think about that too. And um, just keep following your God, how your God teaches you peace. And then we'll all have peace no matter which God we're doing. Okay? Food for thought. We'll see you.